every so-called evangelical liar that was used by the powers of hell. If God said that Donald Trump would be in the White House and win win. this election, Biden should have never been inaugurated. That's right. Because God don't lie. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. shall my word be. Listen at what God said. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. Are you upset with me? Don't get upset with me. Right. Get upset with Paula White. That's right. Get upset with Kenneth Copeland. Right. Get upset with the 700 Club. Get upset with all these evangelical bigots that wanted Trump to be in office so bad. You was willing to lie on the almighty, but instead God made all of you liars. That's right. Amen. All of you that's following these churches where these men or women said that lie, pack up and leave. Yeah. God willed for this to be done right. to manifest yeah. that you was following a false prophet or false prophetess. All right, come on, Dan. This person says, I hope you are happy if Biden wins because he will have you in chains again. <laughs> Unfortunately, they will not enjoy their time in office. Yes, give me some more juice uh, back there, uh, Judah. Uh, go ahead, Dan. What do you say now? Unfortunately, they will not enjoy their time in office. All right. They will not control me and the patriots who love the Lord. All right. Uh, okay, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I love the Lord, too, and they don't control me. Right. And let me show you why that this is one black man that won't be enslaved. That's right. The Bible says, he whom the Son hath set free yeah. is free indeed. Yeah. So don't get upset with me because you blind, devil, hell-deserving, evangelical frauds who was anointed by the powers of the devil lied on God. That's right get mad at me. That's right. Listen, I didn't vote for Biden. No. <laughs> I didn't vote for Biden. I didn't vote for nobody. nobody. I'm still working on my song. I vote for Jesus. He's the one. I vote for Jesus. The only one. I, I never get nowhere past that. I'm on my way though. <laughs> I remember when I first sung that, a bunch of emails came in, people just adding, just adding to it, and it sound good. But let me tell you, uh, we're not going to be in chains, you old weak bigot. That's right. Amen. So because you upset, yeah. get over it. Yeah. You might as well get over it. That's right. Because I don't care who's in the White House, this is what we will preach. That's right. This is what we will stand on. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. So uh, get over it. Get over it. And just get ready to repent of your sins. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord fill your uh, chain gang soul with the Holy Ghost and come walk with the truth of God. Amen. All right, Dan the man. Come on. Yes, Paul Copeland, Creflo are liars. Yes. And demonic. But Trump won and had the election stolen. He should not have had that witch in the White House. They just won't give up. Don't don't give up. They just won't give up. They're writing me, blaming me. That's right. All right, go ahead, Dan. She called out Africans, African demons. Gino is a hater of Trump. He does not know Jesus, who is at the right hand. I don't know him. Well, if I don't know him, why are you watching me? That's right. Paula White was sent by hell. I have heard what the prophet said. She's an outstanding liar. That's right. The angels didn't come from Africa. No. She was calling for them. Yes. Then went off into some tongue. Yaka saka, maka saka, chitlins, pog malls, pancakes, macaroni, cheese, collard greens, making a menu. That's right. I have declared before and I declare again. That's right. Every so-called evangelical liar that was used by the powers of hell. If God said that Donald Trump would be in the White House and win win. this election, 
Biden should have never been inaugurated. That's right. Because God don't lie. That's right. right. Yeah. So yeah. shall my word be. Listen at what God said. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. Are you upset with me? Don't get upset with me. Right. Get upset with Paula White. That's right. Get upset with Kenneth Copeland. Yeah. Get upset with the 700 Club. Get upset with all these evangelical bigots that wanted Trump to be in office so bad. You was willing to lie on the almighty, but instead God made all of you liars. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 So don't get upset with me. That's right. All of you evangelicals yeah. that's following any man or any woman mm. who was caught up in this demonic frenzy Amen. of pathetic Prophecy, yeah. not prophetic. Yeah. Pathetic. Prophetic. That's and you see it didn't come to pass? That's right. It is God yeah. that allowed this to happen. That's right. Yeah. To show you that he did not sin. That's right. These prophets, 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Quickly Je now. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 21. Listen at what God said. I have not sent these prophets. But what did they do? Yet they ran. What did God say? I have not sent these prophets. What did they do? Yet they ran. What else did they do? I have, I have not spoken to them. I, I, I didn't speak to them. Yet they prophesied. That's why you don't find Trump in the White House. That's right. God didn't use them. That's right. God didn't speak to these liars. That's right. And you writing, Pastor Jennings, all of you that's following these churches where these men or women said that lie, pack up and leave yeah. God willed for this to be done right. to manifest yeah. that you was following a false prophet or false prophetess who is he that saith and it cometh to pass in chapter verse. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37 who is he that, that saith, saith and it cometh to pass and it happened when the Lord commandeth it not God didn't command it that's right now you got false prophets all over social media to my son God commanded. Yeah. God kept. In fact, that's one of the things Paula White was saying. Yeah. God commanded. Yeah. God commanded. And then she said, I commanded. <laughs> Lord. I commanded. My Lord. Mm. Paula, go get a job and go to work. That's right. Yeah. And all the rest of you heathens. That's right. All right, come on, Dan the man stays here. Cut us out. Another writer says, to infidels, the reason why Trump lost is because they cheated. Many witnesses, judges, etc., were paid off by Biden. Open up those evil eyes, this person says. I have no sympathy for blacks who wanted Biden. He will have them in the street and no money to spend. And I wish God would destroy America and the wicked. Really? So I, who's the wicked then? Who's the wicked? If you hate blacks that bad, why you keep looking at my black face? That's right. Now let me say this. Read re, re, re what he said again. I, I don't want to miss nothing. Read what he said again, Dad. He said, two infidels, the reason why Trump lost is because they cheated. All right, hold it. Now, I believe prophecy from heaven yes. can beat out cheating. Amen. That's right. Amen. If they really did cheat, if they did, if they did, but if God said, yeah. I demand for Trump to be in that White House, That's right. the whole world can cheat. Yes. But if God said it, That's right. you will see Trump right there. That's right. You mean to tell me the God of Israel can't out be cheating? So right. shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. This is what God said. In Isaiah 55 and verse 11. God said it. That's right. No one can steal it. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's it. How can human beings be God? Yes. Amen. If God said it, That's right. nobody can beat it. That's no. right. If God said it, Amen. nobody can steal it. Amen. If God said it, nobody can suppress it. Right. If God said it, nobody can squander it. That's right. Right. It's Amen. just like God said, Terry, yeah. and she, you shall be due with power from on high. Yeah. God promised that we will receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. 
I don't care if you don't believe it. But if God said it, you can put a paper bag over my head. But if God filled me with the Holy Ghost, I'm going to speak under that bag. That's right. Amen. Amen. Look how dumb you sound. Amen. You mean to tell me cheaters and the voting booth got more power than God? Oh, no. My Lord. Oh, no. He opened the Red Sea for Israel. Amen. But he can't put Trump in the White House. Amen. Amen. He Amen. shut heaven up Amen. for three years and a half. Amen. So it don't rain. Amen. And he can't put Trump in the White House? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. God says. In Isaiah 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. That come out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Well, wait a minute. It won't return, return unto, unto me, me void. Vo tell the world what God world would do. God world would do, Williams. But it shall accomplish. No, no, they cheated. But it shall accomplish. No, 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 no. They cheated. But it shall accomplish. God said His word shall accomplish, accomplish. that which I please. That means it's guaranteed to get results. Amen. And it shall it's prosper. It's guaranteed, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. If He sent His word. Through these evangelical frauds, that's right. Then Trump would have been in the White House. That's right. Just face it. That's right. The prophecy failed. Yeah. It never came from God. Yeah. It was the moving of the devil in the earth. Behold, I am against them that prophesy. Listen at this in now. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty-three and verse thirty-two. Get mad at me all you want, you Trumpites. That's right. You going to come back to the Bible? That's right. Eh? That's right. What is that? Jeremiah chapter 23, we'll start at verse 31. Yes. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord. I am against the prophets, saith the Lord. That use their tongues. That use their tongues. And say, he saith. And say, God saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy I'm false against dreams. against them that prophesy false dreams. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And do tell them. And got the nerve to tell them. And cause my people to err by their lives. What? And cause my people to err by their lives. That's why you're writing me. That's right. Because you, you error by what? By their lies. Amen. 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 You error by your lies. By their lies. And here he, Trump is all, Trump is home in Florida. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. And you still hollering. That's right. All right, come on, Dan the man. This is good. If Pastor does not believe in voting, why doesn't he keep Trump off his dirty lips? <laughs> he did a lot for our dumb Negroes. Getting out of prison and giving the lazy suckers, this person says, jobs. He needs to learn Bible before he can speak on Jesus. Well, I tell you what you do. Why don't you come face this dirty lit preacher? Being yeah. that you want me to keep Trump out of my dirty lips, why don't you come take him out for me? Amen. That's right. That's right. I take this Bible and beat you down to your knees. Amen. That's right. So don't stand behind a screen and talk. Just face it. Right. You liars. I don't care if you're black and white. And Ben, that he, uh, he, he called them the, our Negroes. Our Negroes. Oh, Lord. What are you, still a slave driver? Lord. Or are you a black Uncle Tom out here kissing mm. up the Trump? Go ahead. Yeah. 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 This is one preacher that the government don't rule. That's right. I'm not buck dancing like many of you folk who were Trump's buck dancers. That's yeah. right. And because he pardoned or was able to free some black folk. Yeah. So what? That's right. You think he was the only president <laughs> where black folk got out of prison? Yeah. Black folk right. been getting out of prison every day. That's right. He ain't do nothing new. That's right. But notice, there was no agenda for people of color. Amen. But when he started running for the second time, yeah. he introduced a fake agenda. Yeah. Called the platinum agenda. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you fell for it. Yeah. Yeah. You fell for it. Oh yes. Before he got in office, chaos yeah. followed him all over the country. All over. After he got in office, chaos. Yeah. While he was in office, chaos. That's right. Last days of office, <laughs> chaos. That's right. And now many of you so-called Christians stormed the Capitol broke into government property 
and start stealing. Yeah. And Jesus said, Thou shall not steal. Shall not steal. That's right. Amen. Christians. But yet you Christians. Yeah. Some of y'all infidels broke in and start holding hands praying. Yeah. Imagine that. You break in my house <laughs> and I come downstairs and catch you yeah. and you holding hands praying. Yeah. I'm going to break up that prayer meeting. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, if you was doing God's will, God's will does not cause no one to sin. No. God will does not cause no one to do wrong. That's right. Wonderful. And here you are now being hunted by the FBI. Yeah. Not be, you're not going to jail or charges pressed against you because you done right. Uh -huh. You were tricked. And many of you what helped push this motivation was false church. That's right. That's right. Not only you suckers believe Trump lie. The same spirit that was in Trump was in your pastor. That's right. Amen. I have heard what the it's prophet... It's in your preachers. Yeah. Amen. He lied and said he won. Yeah. You lied and you said God said he won. That's right. And you mean to tell me God is not stronger than the Democratic Party? Amen. God? God. Wait a minute. God. God? God. Talk about this. Moses can throw down a, serp a, a rod, turn to a serpent, eat up all other rods. Mm -hmm. Jesus can turn water into wine. Mm -hmm. But now you got an election that's so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> God can't get Trump in the White House. Right. Use a pathetic bigot fool to believe it. That's right. Come jump on Pastor Jennings. That's right. I take you for a 1932 Bible ride. Amen. 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 All right, come on, Dan. Another letter says, my name is Scott, mm -hmm. Mr. Jennings. I would like to discuss with you some very troubling events. All right. I have come across an article that would have great impact on preaching the word of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Biden and Harris administration, this person says, are making plans to infect our children with the idea that it's okay to accept gay men and women's so-called rights. Yes. And, there's go, and, there's going to, and they're going to use the recent events of the court ruling to make it mandatory that all children must learn about that. You must call a woman a man and a man a woman. As we, as, and we as people who preach God, who preach God, Jesus' word, they are going to try to quail our tongue about preaching it's wrong to be gay. Here is the link to the article, and the person gives a link. If Biden or Harris continue Obama's filthy, Man. dirty, yeah. rotten, yeah. no good, hellish, yeah. same sex agenda, right. we are blasted to hell. Cry aloud. And I want to encourage all teachers Amen. and all in employees and employers when a man come in your job in your company in your place of business when a child come in your school and you know that's a boy mm. that's right. Amen. don't bow to the government and call it a girl that's right, right. when a girl come in don't bow to the government and call it a boy. That's now, do you that work for the government, Amen. whether it's signing marital certificates or anything that got to do with you writing documentation, we that are of God, we can endorse or seal or sign a same-sex marriage license right. or a same-sex Marriage certificate. Amen. You come in first church, and if I know your name is Tommy, <laughs> and you want me to call you Tamika, Amen. I'm dropping off the Shika. <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Tommy. That's right. God says in Genesis, yeah, yeah. let us let us make man. Yeah. Let us let us make man. 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 
make man. Let us make man in our image. And then he put man in deep sleep, took the rib from man and formed woman. Woman. He didn't form anything in between. No, no substitute. No. So if Biden and Harris go that direction, we're ready. That's right. I mean, the church ain't got to get ready for that fight. We've been fighting that fight. That's right. <laughs> Amen. There's some of you Trumpites wrote me. Obviously, they wasn't watching us long. No. What's she going to do when Biden try to bring uh, Obama's homosexual agenda? All you got to do is go listen at the many messages of the truth of God. I will stand on that is clear. Yeah. You see, the truth of God don't care yeah. your uh, political affiliation. Yeah. Our affiliation is with God. That's Amen. right. That's our affiliation. That's right. With God. That's right. Our party is holiness. That's right. We're not Democrat. No. We're not Republican. No. Our party is holiness. That's it's right. the holy party. That's right. It's a holy sanctified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy sanctified people. The holy Glory people. take God that believe firmly in what is written here. So if by him though Harris, if you're a teacher watching me, don't you bow when you know you got a young boy there come dressed like a girl and you go and put him sit with the girls or allow him go to the ladies room. That's right. Mm. I'll That's show right. you how dumb their government is. Yeah. Mm. So many of you say, well, Trump, you know, he had those morals. Yeah. All right. If he didn't believe in same sex, fine. fine. But he believed in exchanging wives. Mm. Yeah. You're guilty in one point, you're guilty, guilty in all. That's right. Amen. Amen. He endorsed adultery. Yeah. And some of you say he's the greatest president in the world. <laughs> you are deceived by all the powers of hell. That's right. <laughs> that's wishful thinking. Yeah. So nobody that's following God should endorse same-sex marriages in any form. We don't, I, I don't if, if there's anybody come in first church, yeah. you're a man, mm. come dressed like a woman. Mm. If we see you trying to creep in the ladies' room, mm. we, and I'm making this plain over the air, mm. and if you want to be dumb enough to try us, do so. True. But if any man come in any of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ buildings, mm. well, that sign says women's, ladies' room. They don't say nothing else, but just clearly say ladies room. Only one image on there. That's, That's right. the image of a lady. That's right. And we see you taking your wig head oh. as she needs. Amen. Size 15 foot. Amen. <laughs> to try to go in the ladies room. Amen. That's right. We will physically right. grab you and usher you out of here. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Jennings, we'll sue you. I'll be glad to face any courthouse in this country. If God said it's an abomination, we're going to say the same thing. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. You think we are intimidated by lawyers? Amen. We have the best lawyer. Oh, we got an advocate That's right. with the father. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Dan.